Okay, do you shave any of my hair back here? I will shave a little bit of hair. Okay. Not a lot. My husband was teasing me they were going to shave my whole head. I'm like, no. Yeah, so. <laughs> So usually after the surgery, it's not too painful okay. for patients. Um, I've even had some patients not take any pain medication. Okay. But we give you some yeah, just in case, yeah. okay. just some Tylenol with, with that narcotic. Okay. The skin between, uh, on your skull, behind, behind your ear is very thin, so there's not very many nerve fibers there. So. You're asking about your MRI. Well, tell us again what you were told. Um, I was told that I did not have any cochlea in my both my ears, that I was born without them. Without a cochlea? Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> did they say anything about the nerves? No, nothing really. I mean, I guess my parents were never really that informed on it. They just told me that I needed hearing aids, and I just kind of went with it. Okay. It can be that you, that you have a, uh, something that happens at the time of birth, you have an infection, like a viral infection, or something happening with the oxygen at birth. But many times it's actually a genetic. You've inherited this, you have this tendency, you inherited, and, and, that's why, um, and, that's, and that's why you have a hearing loss. So this is actually the most common situation where everything looks normal on the outside, but you have the hearing loss. And I think it's at the level of the inner ear, the hair cells. Okay. So we're actually, we're going to be bypassing with the cochlear implant, the hair cells, putting the electrode past those in the cochlea, and then it's going to be stimulating the nerve as the nerve uh, enters the cochlea. Okay, so. Um, like now how are, like, my hearing aids going to balance with, um, the liquid fair? I guess, I don't know how that works. You know, how does it balance it to be itself out? So you're going to, after the surgery, you're going to use a hearing aid still on the right side. You're going to wait a month yeah. to get the cochlear implant activated on the left side. Mm -hmm. And your body is just going to get used to that. So you're, you'll still be hearing like you have been if you're hearing on the right. And when you start using the cochlear implant, your body will feel two different types of sound. Uh, you will eventually get used to that. I knew I would. I used How long will it be before yeah, I can start hearing on the left? So after surgery, we're going to wait about a month. We're going to let everything heal. And then at that time, we'll do the initial activation of the implant. Now, it might not sound the best initially. You have to get that nerve used to hearing these sounds again. But over time, that ear is going to get stronger and stronger. And this is eventually going to be your stronger ear. <laughs> your right has always been your stronger ear. Yeah. Pretty soon, this is going to be your strong ear. That'll be pretty cool. Yeah. I always use a telephone on this side, so it'll be nice to switch. Yes. yes. Now the difference between a hearing aid and a cochlear implant is a hearing aid makes things louder. Yep. Okay? But it doesn't make things more clear. But an implant does. So, you know, before when you were understanding about 20, 30 percent in that left ear, we're hoping that's going to jump to 70 or 80 percent. So you have a lot to gain. So you're talking about the concern when you're using a hearing aid and you're hearing all the background noise and it's louder than it should be? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, the nice thing is that with the cochlear implant, it's going to be stimulating your nerve directly. So then your brain can then integrate all those, those uh, background noises. But you will hear, you know, you'll hear a pin dropping, for example. You'll, you'll hear, uh, you know, paper rustling. You'll, you'll hear birds chirping. You know, you'll hear those higher, those higher pitch sounds that you uh, haven't heard in a long time. Yeah. Uh, but then you'll, over time, you'll get used to that. So.